What is going on beautiful people? Well, I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the narcissistic toxic smear campaign. How going no contact with a narcissist can actually start this smear campaign, and how sometimes a narcissist can use a smear campaign to suck you back into a relationship. Stay tuned for more, like and subscribe for more, and as always, thank you. Yeah, sometimes if you go no contact with a narcissist, they will absolutely use a smear campaign against you to try to ruin your reputation. And of course, if you're new here, I'm a narcissist, actually a narcissistic personality disorder. Yeah, the smear campaign happens when they start to spread rumors and lie about you to try to ruin your reputation or to try to protect theirs. But this is one thing a lot of people don't talk about with the smear campaign that it can be used as a form of a hoover. And by hoover, I mean suck you back into a relationship or suck you back into talking to them and breaking no contact. Because if they're smearing your reputation online, if they're posting all kinds of wild stuff about you, if they're reaching out to your family or to their own family saying craziness about you, how do you get that to stop sometimes? By reaching out to them and asking them to stop lying on you. And sometimes when you reach out to them to ask them to stop, they'll try to sit down with you face to face and whatnot. So the smear campaign is used to ruin your reputation, but it can also be used to suck you back into a relationship. So stay wary, and a lot of times the smear campaign goes away if you just ignore it. Hope this helps. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. So if you, if you could read if you could read the text on the screen, it says, be prepared for the smear campaign. Once they realize they can't get to you, they get angry. The smear starts. Yes, yes, yes. This, so. If you go no contact with a narcissist, y'all, sometimes they will they will activate this smear campaign on you. If you don't know what this smear campaign is, it is when a narcissist or a toxic person or whoever decides that they decides that they want to ruin your reputation by lying on you, by spreading rumors, by just spreading misinformation about you overall. You know, just trying to sully your reputation, just trying to get sometimes they try to get ahead of what you might say about them. They try to, you know, ruin your credibility in case you decide to expose them. In case you decide to tell the truth about them, they start spreading lies and rumors about you, you know, and they get ahead. They try to get ahead of you sometimes. And like, yeah, no con. If you go no contact with them and they snap and they just, OK, you OK, well, fine, then I'm going to expose you. They start spreading rumors. They start lying online. They start lying to your friends and family. They started just doing a lot of different things to get you to try to reach, to get you, to get you back to, for vengeance, you know? But like I said in my short video, like sometimes this smear campaign can be used as a form of a Hoover to suck you back into a relationship like a vacuum cleaner. They can use, they can use it to suck you back into it because how do you get this smear? How do you get somebody to stop talking about you, y'all? Sometimes you have to reach out. To, you have to reach out directly to the person who's lying on your name to get them to stop. Sometimes you have to reach out directly to them. Like, hey, Lee, can you please stop lying on me on social media? Like people are reaching out to me. People are calling me saying that you're saying this, saying that you're saying that. Like, can you please stop? And then guess what? That narcissistic person can say, well, I'll stop if you sit down and talk to me. I'll stop. Well, fa fancy. Well, I, it's the only way I can get you to reach out to me. It's the only way I can get you to contact me. It's the only way I can get you to do this. It's the only way I can get you to do that. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times it happens just like that. A lot of times it, it, it goes down just like that. They use that smear campaign. They use the lies and the rumors to, to trigger you to reach out, to trigger you to break no contact. And guess what? If they can trigger you, they can control you. And sometimes they'll try to, if you reach out to them to get them to stop the smear campaign, sometimes they'll use that as an excuse to, re like, sometimes they'll use that as an excuse to keep reaching out to you. They'll use that as an excuse to try to get you to sit down face to face with them. Well, if you want me to stop, you got to sit down face to face with me. If you want me to stop talking about you, you got to meet me here. If you want me to take, I'll, I'll take everything down if you sit down and talk to me. I'll take everything down if you give me another chance. Yeah, and they'll do that, y'all. They will lie on your name. They will ruin your rep reputation. They will call you and blow you up and stuff like that and then absolutely try to get back, get back into a relationship with you. They don't care. It's about control. They want to control not only you, but they want to control the narrative about the relationship dynamic. You know, And not only do intimate partners do this, y'all, this could be one of your parents. <laughs> This could be your friend. This could be your coworkers. This could be your employees. It could be this, the relationship dynamic. Sometimes is unimportant because this can apply to any type of relationship dynamic. It could be you cut your mom. If you cut your mom off and she gets angry, she's all spraying rumors about you on Facebook. 
And guess what? You reach out to your mama. You break no contact with your mom to reach out to her and ask her to stop. I just want to see my grandbabies. If this were to take, this is what I had to do. You know, your dear dad. You 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 go no contact with your dad. He starts spreading rumors about you and things of that nature. You know what I mean? It's a lot. It really is a lot. And like I said, the smear campaign can be used to suck you back into a relationship. You have to be very, very careful about it. I know people are going to say, but Lee, how do we stop their smear campaign? Sometimes the best way to stifle a fire is to, if, is to suffocate it. You have to suffocate it of air. Don't breathe any life into it. Don't, don't breathe any life into said fire. Because when you do, when you breathe life into the fire, it happens. Hey, I'm just telling you, these people will keep reaching out to you. They'll keep doing it because it works. If they know it, this is what it takes to get you to re reach out to them, they'll keep doing it. If they know that this is hurting your reputation and it's hurting your feelings and it's punishing you, they'll keep doing it. So sometimes the best way to stifle a fire is to not breathe, not, is, is to starve it, is to suffocate it. Don't breathe any air into it. Ignore it. I know it's tough when they talking when they talking trash about you and you losing friends, but to me, so to me, the smear campaign can be used as, as a like a, a friend filter because if they're believing rumors and lies about you and they're not asking you about them are they really your friend if they're blindly believing someone else without even questioning it if they're blindly believing somebody else without even asking you about it talking to you about it what do you like say are they really your friend are they really your supporter are they really on your side if they are believing somebody else without asking you hey so so and so said this about you i i, I ain't really believe it i wanted to just run it by you if they don't even say that to you are they really your friend are they really your associate? Are they really your, do they really belong in your life? If you think about it from that perspective right there. If they're believing somebody else willy nilly without questioning it, without brain, like I'm just saying, yeah, it's a lot that goes into these things. So you yourself have to protect you yourself in these situations because if you don't, you're gonna get taken advantage of, you just are. They're gonna run away, they're, they're gonna use the smear campaign. Every time Every time they, you do something that they don't like, every time you decide to cut them off, they're gonna use this smear campaign on you because they think it works. You know, stifle it, ignore it. Like I would, unless this to me, I know it's I know it's easier said than done, but to me, if you're not engaging with them, sometimes the smear campaign will go away on its own. They'll just stop. Sometimes they'll keep it going. They'll keep they'll keep it going for years, y'all. And most people they see through it, y'all. Honestly, most people see through. If somebody's talking about you years down the road and you haven't reached out to them, you haven't made contact with them, or you haven't said anything about them. If they are reaching out to you years down the road, then they, do they actually care about it? You see what I'm saying? Do they actually care? Like most, if they are, if most people will see through the BS, you know, if they're still talking about you years down the road and you made no contact, then most people are just like, yeah, you obsessive about this. Like nobody believes you anymore. It's been five years and you you're still talking about your ex, you know. <laughs> but anyways, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. If you haven't already, go to Amazon, cop the Self Love Journal on Amazon, Lee Hammock Self Love on Amazon. Um, I'm back in, like I said, I'm back in the States. I'm back in my office for the first time in the week um, from Australia. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, Mr. Hillness is out. Peace.